Right, so I have been back doing some exercise in the last couple of weeks. Um, not cycling per se, however, I have been uh, getting, getting amongst it uh, in terms of doing some exercises. So we'll go on the old Strava and um, you'll be able to see what I've been doing. Uh, and then we'll go on to Training Peaks and you'll be able to see some incredibly depressing things. But anyway, so basically I've um, obviously I had my crash. Uh, where would it have been? Oh, this day here. 9.7 kilometers. Binned it. Not ideal. You can see the data. Anyway, so I was in hospital for a long time. Uh, not really doing much. I like These weeks I was out of hospital. I did walk, but I didn't start rec recording it until about now. Um, and I started going to the gym. Um, so you can see what I was doing in the gym. Mainly it's like leg press, cycle, I can, so I can go on the recumbent bike for like 10-15 minutes, um, so I cycle on that, which, you know, isn't the same as normal cycling, um, but it's good just to move the legs, do leg press, and then I have exercises to do on the bands, uh, with like bands, so I move my legs apart, like, and then move them backwards as well, um, that's sort of strengthening my, like, legs, but also my joints as well, because I haven't really done much, and then I've, um, been swimming a bit as well, which is nice, I can swim with a float, um, obviously I have a cast on, but I've got a little thing to cover my cast and I've been walking a lot. So I try and walk, you know, um, as much as possible. Um, uh, like, so, you know, half an hour to an hour a day is generally the goal. Um, so yeah, like when I'll be able to cycle again, I'm not hundred percent sure. Um, I try to cycle on a normal bike and basically the issue is, is my, cause my back is still obviously hurt quite a lot. I can't really bend over without it hurting. So I think it'll be a little bit of time, hopefully not much more. I hope you know, beginning of October, um, maybe end of October, that, that's the period when I want to start cycling properly, um, and then, you know, I'll, I won't be able to go out on the road, well, I need to have a discussion about this, but I did get told in hospital, because of my brain injury, I won't be able to cycle on the road until January, because there's an increased risk of seizures, but I want to figure this out, because I'm not 100% sure if it's true, but if it is true, then, you know, that, we'll just have to take that, and, um, I mean, I hate indoor training, but I'll probably buy like a slightly better indoor trainer. I'm thinking about or like a secondhand one. I was thinking get like the Elite Volano or the Elite Muin Turbo. Um, there'll be a slight issue because I realize my TT bike's 10 speed and my other one's 11 speed, my road bike. But anyway, so that's a bit annoying. But anyway, we're going to, I'm going to try and make turbo training better. And I'm going to buy like the biggest van ever. Um, and like if we had to turbo train for like three months, I think it's only two, three months of my life. It's not. It's annoying, but like, you know, it's the worst months ever and, you know, I'm lucky that I'm not paralyzed. So anyway, that will be roughly what I'm doing. Um, but we'll go over to Training Peaks and you'll get to see some of the most depressing data in the world. So this year is like, I've been the fastest ever. I've done 350 watts for 20 minutes. Um, got my best ever race results as well. So 350 watts is about 5.7 watts per kilo for me. Um, so anyway, you can see this is the week I planned. I had a big nap B road race that I thought I was going to do quite well on, it was pretty hilly, but unfortunately I crashed here because I'm an absolute idiot. So anyway, at this point I was like 74 fitness, again it's not like super high, some people hit like 110, but I generally find I don't get over 100 that much unless I do like a really strong four week block. But anyway, you can see obviously my fitness is going down massively, um, so I'm going to be back in Bristol on the 23rd of September I believe, Maybe I might come up like earlier just to like sort everything out, um, but that's generally the day I'm going to come back. Um, and obviously I'm going to be going to the gym a lot. Um, so I'm going to be doing a lot of gym work, which I think will be beneficial because I found like last year, um, just going to the gym, even just once a week, I improved a lot and it couldn't have been my training because my training load was a lot le less because the year before I started uni, I had a gap year. So I was doing, you know, 20 hour weeks consistently and decent intensity as well. But I really improved a lot in that first time. And I think the strength training had something to do with it. A lot of people don't rate it, but in my opinion, it makes sense to do strength training, not only because I'm not a professional cyclist. So if I gain 400 grams of muscle, which let's be honest, I'm probably not going to, it's not going to make a difference. And also the other thing is like, you just want to be well-rounded as a human and like, you don't want to have really low bone density. So if you crash, you just always break bones. Um, so anyway, at this point I'll have eight fitness. Um, but anyway, so the rough outline, I guess, is going to be, you know, September, October, I'm not going to be doing, you know, huge intensity then. It's going to just be like bringing up my threshold slowly. I mean, if you think about it, like I wouldn't have ridden for so long that like literally doing zone two or zone one, like the adaptions will get my body faster. So, you know, if you think about a normal week, we'll go to a normal week of my training. This is during exams, so it's not really a normal week. Um, but if we go back to like um, maybe June or maybe January or something when I was, you know, training properly, um, you'll be able to see that like, you know, I was doing a lot of intensity and a lot of hours, 
because I basically had, um, I was basically full time at this point in time because I had no um, exams and so yeah, I could ride full time. Um, so you'll be able to see here, you know, I was doing 20, 20, 20 uh, four hour weeks there. Um, and I think the week before I did 21 hours and then the week before that I did like 16 hours. So you can see I was doing, I was doing a lot of hours, um, but I won't need to do that. Like I'll literally do like two hours zone two, my threshold will go up because it's so low. I think, and also I won't be able to do a threshold test necessarily straight away because I'm not sure how much strength can put my brain. That's the other thing. I need to ask a lot of questions about my brain because I don't really understand it. And like when I was in the hospital, they were like, oh, do you have any questions? But I was like, so monged out on painkillers and all the rest of it. I couldn't really um, think properly and didn't really have any questions. Um, but you'll see in general, like I don't do much tempo. Obviously this is an exception, uh, but I only do tempo to make it endurance ride faster, harder, sorry. I don't do tempo as replacement for threshold. So generally I like to do polar rides. You know, I spend most of my time threshold or above threshold is vo2 my general ones are five times eight minutes six times eight minutes just above threshold 105 percent of ftp that's my faves or i do 40 to, uh, 30 15s for about eight to ten minutes again and those 30 seconds are about 115 percent to 120 percent of ftp and i find those zoom up my ftp hugely or i do like four hours zone two and when i say zone two i mean zone two up the hill down the hill and on the flat not of this oh, zone two average, no, zone two the whole time. You want to spend as close to 100% of your time in zone two. So obviously on the turbo, that's incredibly boring. Doing two hour zone two rides is going to be mind bogglingly boring. So I'll probably throw in some more like intervals that will have zero effect apart from, well, they have a slight effect on my body, but it'll be mainly just to, you know, increase the, um, decrease the boredom of these turbo training rides. But anyway, so I think my, my FTP will probably be like 200 watts to begin with, maybe less. I don't know. Um, it's hard to tell like obviously I'm not doing nothing at the moment like but if you think comparatively I am doing nothing um, but you know I've been riding for like three years now three four years maybe um, so you know it's not like I'm gonna completely die and have no fitness left um, but yeah the, the only issue is I just don't want to burn out like you can see these two weeks were disastrous um, and then I got back on it again um, so yeah no it's gonna be it's gonna be good for sure and you'll be able to see my progress. Hopefully I'll go from like two. Or I mean, my goal for next year is to just basically reach as high, just to try and get to the same level I was last year. Um, and then, you know, we'll see, see how we are. Obviously it's disappointing because I really want to do well on hill climbs and I knew I would have done well um, based on my power numbers from earlier in the year. But anyway, we've missed out. Um, but another big goal is going to be time trials next year because I've messed around with time trials. I didn't sort my TT bike out, but I'm sorting my TT bike out now. So I'll be able to train all over the winter on it and get really, really good on it. Um, and hopefully win a university medal in the team competition. I think solo is in, impossible, obviously, because you have to ride like for 10 miles, you have to ride like a sub 20 minute, like close to nine, close to 18 minute, 10 mile time trial, which in speed is about 53 K an hour, 52 K an hour, which is quite mad. Um, so yeah, that's going to be impossible, but as a team, we might go to get one and that's, that would be very nice. Uh, and in terms of road racing, I've emailed British Cycling. I'm trying to get them to upgrade me to fourth cat, to the second cat. Sorry, so I'm four points off second cat, and I've been like, you know, I crashed. I can't race the rest. I mean, four points is like, you know, in a crit you need to come like sixth or something or fifth to get four points. So you know, hopefully they um they're understanding and they'll upgrade me because then that means I can focus on road races. Because let's be honest, like I do enjoy crits, but the way I'm going to get points, the way I'm going to progress, the way I'm going to do better in races is by doing hilly road races. Um, so yeah, that's going to be the other target. Um, but yeah, no, it's like, I'm pretty positive about it. Like, obviously I'm annoyed at the moment because, you know, I can't do hill climbs and I, they are my favorite thing of the year. Um, and I won't be able to do like the university hill climb, which I think we had a real good chance of getting a good, good result. And also I think I had a real good chance in Haytor hill climb, which is, you know, it's a long one next year. It's going to be like two minutes, which is a bit boring, but you know, like at the end of the day, it's not really that bad from start to finish. It's going to be six months of my life, which hopefully I'll live for a very long time. So it's not really... You know, it's annoying and like maybe it's come at an opportune time. Maybe I could have got a lot of points um, and, you know, could have got some good results. Um, but anyway, like, you know, you just got to live with life. Realize that's what's happened. I was an idiot for crashing um, and it's all going to be good. So you'll be able to see my training and hopefully it should be inspiring for you. If you've like had a couple of weeks off the bike, a couple of months off the bike, you'll be able to see me getting back to fitness. And I hope it should be rapid. I hope I should get from like, you know, where I start 200 watts to 300 watts should like hopefully a month or two. Um, and then what's obviously going to be harder is getting back up to my ex exact fitness that I was before. But it's always easier to get to the same fitness second time than the first time. 
And um, yeah, I'm gonna get some sick wheels for my TT bike and you know, take that seriously um, and be super nerdy about it. Get that wax chain and all the rest of that stupid bollocks. But you know, I hate all that stuff, but you know, it does make a difference, unfortunately. I'd much rather just everyone just, you know, had the similar bike and it was just all about power. But anyway, apparently it's not, so I'm gonna get super nerdy and uh, sort everything out. And yeah, hopefully I'll be a second cat next year, so it means I can do some, go just get into nat bees a lot more easily. Um, especially at the beginning of the season, and then I will be able to get some results. Um, so anyway, cheers for watching. If you've got any questions about my training or what I'm going to be doing, let me know. And if you have any, like, injuries, let me know, because my back is the only one. Like, my leg is pretty much, like, going to be close to ready, but I really want to know if anyone's had, like, back injuries. So I injured the top vertebrae, like, T1 to T5 or something, I think. Um, something like that. So the top one's near the neck. If anyone's had any experience with that, let me know how long that takes to heal, because that's going to be stopping me from riding a bike, basically. Um, my arm, my cast is coming off next week and that will be fine. Um, so yeah, it's just going to be my back, but hopefully that sorts itself out and I can get in top, top condition for next season and get some top, top results. So anyway, cheers for watching and I will see you in the next video.